I talk about it for the past like yeah. 10 years? I talk about it every day. I do. Is I hope it, my daughter's a little more whorish and a little more reckless. I do. <laughs> See, I hope my daughter's a whore. I do, a little bit. I Not a too. big no, one, really but do. like a little bit. I hope she has fun. Because I have that regret too, and I'm like, I want my daughter to be safe. I don't want to be like, riddled with STDs, yeah. but I hope she like. <laughs> no, like be safe, but like get out there. Yeah. But it's weird. Like, because we, our high school was like Victoria set. And first like, of all, we didn't go to high school together. No, but like, our, <laughs> no, but, but first of all, our second, our version of high school. Yeah. Was like the Victoria set, the Nickelodeon crew, you, me, and Ariana. Yeah, when people ask me where I went to high school, I say Hollywood arts. Ex- literally. <laughs> that, was, that was the high school, I right? I know, yeah. There's a lack of living that takes place when you give your all to something. Yeah. Do you regret any of it? Uh, no, of course not. I re- it's na- I, We still have time. We still could go do stuff and have fun, but I just I wish I had more of an interest to do it. It's a different sort of I wish of I even wanted to go and wind up in an alley and wake up the next morning and be like, what happened? <laughs> Where am I? I don't even care though. I'd rather just like kill somebody. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about that. Well, how do you react when your your friends, you know, tell you the stories, oh, we got so drunk, you know, I blacked out last night. I'm like an old, I'm like your old crazy aunt, like wanting to live through your experience. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like what did he look like? I mean, what was he wearing? Like, I'm horrible. I'm just like, I have, I, you know, I think it's fun. I don't, I can't relate to it though. I just have no idea why, but it's fun to hear about. It's so cool. It's different. Some of my friends are really wild, and it's cool. I'm like, God bless you. You're young. <laughs> God, thank God. You're young. young. They're like, I'm like, like, thank me. God you had like a college night. I don't need that. I have no mental reference for college. My only mental reference for college now, just like Hollywood arts, is I play a sorority person in vacation. <laughs> that's it. And I'm like, and that, and that's it. And I hold a clipboard, and I, and I imagined holding clipboards in college. <laughs> <laughs> Would you do a night on a college campus? No, unless it was like a Mrs. Robinson thing. Oh like, hell yeah! Okay. If I came in and I was like, "You walk, hello in, boys." You walk into mm-hmm. a fraternity house for sure. Not like, I don't want like a frat boy. So like, in I 30 want like years. the undiscovered. Like I don't know. I want. I like. I like nerdier guys personally. You want like the video game club at UCLA? And I don't the vic- no. They won't look at me. They'll be like this. I want. I want like the <laughs> thoughtful guy with the guitar under the tree who's not pretentious. He's just really like like the John Mayer a million years ago. Okay. Like John Mayer in height. I just made so, out John Mayer's thou like two thousand years old. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he's an old wizard. <laughs> so not the guy who's like, do you guys know Wonderwall? Yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> insane. <laughs> I don't believe that anybody. No, I don't need that. I want someone playing like Cat Stevens. I'll be like, where are you from? He'd be like, hello, at home. I'm like, yes. I don't even know if that exists. I think it's, what? Oh, you just made somebody I up. My... <laughs> <laughs> that's Am like, I just talking about Cat Stevens? That's your dream sorority boy. <laughs> they don't exist here. <laughs> I wish I, I never even, I never, I don't know. I want, maybe, I don't know. You never dreamed of going to college? Like, have you ever had the thought of. I want to go to NYU. And not going? Was there a sense like, of hesitation? I can't go right now. I'm kind of busy, but. Of course. <laughs> but do you want to eventually go? I would go to college. Really? You have to finish high school first, but then I should, I'll jump right in. <laughs> <laughs> Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. It's on FX. You're working with Dennis Leary, man. Yeah. Sum up your life right now in a few words, please. Um, rock and roll, man. <laughs> <laughs> there could be a moment in time. I think about my, I think life in long view all the time, right? So I'm it's all- either going to be way or be. I'm going to be like uh, Jessica Lange and be working and be amazing and winning awards. And always killing Later you. in my life. Or I'm going to be reality TV for sure. <laughs> for sure. Bravo, here I come. Would you Absolutely. E- would you ever do that? No. I want to be on Watch What Happens Live, though, because I know way more than I should about any of oh, the Oh, you'd kill it with Andy. You would for do sure. well. What's your favorite housewife show? I love Beverly Hills and I love New York. I love okay. New York because I just love New York, but uh, Beverly Hills too. I do New Jersey. That's my show. I love Bever- uh, the Real Housewives of New Jersey. I don't do it anymore. I don't watch any of it. <sighs> You're just like talk about something interesting. You're <laughs> uninteresting. On. That. No, I'm not. We don't want to hear about your car, <laughs> about housewives. I'm what do you have to say? You have more to say. No, I don't have. I want to know who you play in this show. I, we haven't got Thank to that Thank you. Yet. Wow, that's like someone's doing their job. You're totally right. <laughs> well, we've talked about He's this talking show. About... I know you sang. I'm like, who are you? Like, what do you do? Yeah, I guess someone didn't get shared the first <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, I play. Uh, Gigi, and she's a, she's an aspiring singer, and she moves from Ohio to New York to find her dad, who was almost a famous rock star, but he screwed it all up with drugs and drinking and sleeping with everyone in the band's wife or fiance. And so he's kind of in nowhere land. He's kind of washed up, and I'm watching 
you know, I've, I've been keeping up with him my whole life, watching documentaries about him and listening to his music. So I finally go and find him once I'm allowed to move out. My mom gives me a lot of money and I bribe him into making me famous. At first he has no interest. And then he's, uh, he, he, he perks up when I offer him a lot of money, as most parents do. Mucho dinero. But what <laughs> money? This is 200 grand. God, I would hate to be on a date with you. <laughs> Why? Why is it so bad? I can make real. Here's the deal. Uh, <laughs> what? What should I be doing in the dating scene? Just whipping your. T- <laughs> just <laughs> walking around with it out. <laughs> Cut a hole in your pants and just be really aggressive about the whole thing. <laughs> uh, he's, on, he's on Tinder. Yeah, I am on Tinder. I told you I was Tindering the You're other on day. Tinder? You should date Hillary Duff. Isn't she on Tinder? <laughs> I'm not being mean. I think she's no, she's it's like a thing. Tinder. I think it was like show. a stunt. Yeah, it was a stunt oh, it was fake? for a yeah. music video. But she, she Oh, was... like Dean Stanland and all the, uh, You don't even know that. Oh, my God, that's an the... amazing reference when this comes out, if you leave that in. It's a, when we did the All I Want Is Everything video, we okay. created a fake boyfriend for Victoria named Dean Stanland. <laughs> <laughs> Dean Stanland. It's not a real name. And he made a fake Twitter, and he was some model. He's like, you have to tell me when I can stop being this guy, because people are like, <laughs> like, he had to live as that guy. Oh, my God, I just remembered this. Matt He's and I like tweeted a... at his old Twitter account yesterday, and one of them was like, <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, Atlas Gillies, want to take a ride in my pickup or something? Like, it was this whole alternate reality where he existed and like we were friends with him and it was for the uh big city walk flash mob that we did i remember wait that. it was like a real oh, it was a real person my god mm, i'm so good <laughs> dean stanland stanland wait but it was was it like a guy who played that he was a model and he's like he like, i think he went to a cast do you think no it was like a month long he had to live as this dude. do you think he like went to starbucks and they're like what's your name and he was like <gasps> he's like <laughs> yeah like, <laughs> dean stanland dean they're like what <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, what's your fucking anyway, name? Anyway, that's awesome. Yeah, but uh, I don't remember the question. <laughs> I'll tell you my character. How did I get here? <laughs> what day is it? I, just, I want to know who you are. Yeah, tell us. About where dating. did I stop? Where did I stop? We were talking. Uh, we'll Tinder. Go back. What happened? Something about money. Somebody was offering money. Oh, to get that's you famous. it. And, oh yeah, I wrapped it up, but I said, who wouldn't? Oh, so anyway, then I find my. W- once it gets involved, he thinks that I do. He obviously thinks I can't sing, and then he's just gonna take the money and reunite the band. Who they all hate him, by the way. So they come into this rehearsal that I'm paying for ready to just tear into him and he's like come on she can't really sing let's just and then i turns out i i can sing a little bit so then the ride starts and then it turns into me wanting to really kind of have a father that i never had and kind of make that relationship work and uh he's a he's a big screw up so i and i'm totally sober on the show and i'm really focused on getting famous and i i have the talent that he has but i but i am also clear-minded and i'm not going to screw it up so it's kind of like my star rising while his falls and um our very complicated father-daughter relationship I feel like that's going to blow up into something bigger later on in the se- season because like what? Gigi gets right into it first season. Yeah. You're already calling him dad. You just, you, you know, you don't really know she's this really, guy. She's really into it first. She wants a dad really bad. Bam. And she has huge daddy issues. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Like ginormous. Big daddy issues. Is there going to be, st- it has to blow up into something more. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? My career or my, no, I mean, our relationship? That it needs to be like a through line. Well, the whole thing is I need him because I can't write music. I can sing, but I can't write music. So he writes the music for me. So if I turn, if I, if I learn how to write music, it's, he's a sideline guy right now. So it's what, what, what does he do then? You know, yeah. how does he stay in the equation? So it's, yeah, there's a lot of uh, variables there. I like sitting down and talking with you and I like it because it, again, like there's very few people in this world who can come in and do is sit down with me and hang and literally have it be that you can take over the interview seriously people come in here all the time big people fancy people and you need to be hosier that's cool that's not how you say his name uh how you say no, hosier is actually correct you said it differently in the interview i did and i actually said uh, said it wrong you said it wrong yeah wrong wrong what did i say Wrong. I, no, you said it, Ron. I said, <laughs> said, I said it, Ron. I, when I originally said his name in the interview, I said you called him Ron. I said Hosier, but it's Hosier. Hosier. Yeah. I think he's cool. I like his music. Yeah, I, me- I missed him at Bonnaroo by four seconds. I just went to Bonnaroo. <laughs> no, how was Bonnaroo? Bonnaroo was cool. The thing about Bonnaroo is that it's an amazing music festival where you get to see lots of. I the only crowd I saw, let alone I saw no music act. I didn't see one person that was there, and I could have. <laughs> I had all the passes and everything. But again, I hate. Well, why not? I hate people. <laughs> so, so, so it was like our cast, like Dennis and I, are like we want to go. Right, we just wanted to like get out of there immediately after. It was horrible. We could have seen everyone, but it was. It wasn't horrible. Why did I say that? It wasn't. It was horrible that we didn't go to the shows. Yeah. In theory, but we went back and we had like a nice dinner. Very but it nice. was. It was. It was wild. I mean, uh, <laughs> but I was on this panel. I was on this panel with, uh, um, you know, 
someone from Metallica and these wow. amazing musicians, and it was a music panel. And I, again, like the Joan Jett thing, I was just like, make me disappear. Make me go away. <laughs> I have nothing. I am not. I am not a rock star. Like yeah. this is. So they were asking. They're like, when you, you know, when you were playing with Metallica, when you performed in front of, they're like, now you, now Liz, you, you did a, a show on Nickelodeon. I'm just like, um, <laughs> in, that, in that environment, it was the worst. Like it was just. It was. I felt like I just. I was so not cool enough to be with these cool musicians. It made sense. Dennis and I talked about the show. I wasn't just up. I didn't like yeah, just yeah, step yeah. into the wrong room. I just. But I find that interesting. It was crazy interesting to listen to them talk, though. I mean, to be around those kind of people. They're really integrating music with our show. So we're around musicians a lot. And we're doing a lot of music seminars and music festivals. And it's it's really cool. Perfect for you. Yeah. And to be alongside those unbelievable names and those icons. I gave you no names, which is funny. Well, but, uh, <laughs> fuck you. That's how I know you're not with me. I am. And to be with uh, those great guys. Here's, wow. I can't fuck you. <laughs> this is my... You said Metallica. You did say Metallica. I didn't tell you who. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't I cool? <laughs> Are you excited to do a press tour? I'm doing it. I'm doing it right now. I mean, I'm like a it. real press tour that's like... No, not- this isn't. Like, I don't count this as like an actual thing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I was like, this is. I still, even though like you have this whole setup with like your cool clock <laughs> and like your TV, I think I'm like in your basement right now in New Jersey. <laughs> Well, are you nervous for the press tour at all? I don't get. I really don't get nervous. The only thing I get nerv- nervous about is forgetting lyrics. I get stage fright sometimes. Okay, mm-hmm. but you're not to speak about yourself uh, to have no. people you don't know ask you the same question over and over again. No, that becomes a routine. It's okay. When was the last time you had to do a press tour like this? Uh, oh my god, like maybe like the iCarly crossover for Victoria's. Really? <laughs> no, uh, not a lot. Not. I mean, it's been a while been a while different things they're gonna ask you this is adult yeah, now i know we're in an adult world this is the real fucking world shit that's like what oh, my god look at you <laughs> look at ariana look at the cast of victorious it's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i gotta point it <laughs> Growing up, <laughs> reality setting in, dude. This is like this is real shit. I mean, it was real shit before, but this is this is. I think it's cool they let you be a radio host. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna retire after this fucking interview. <laughs> All right, I'm wrapping up. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Liz Gillies. No, okay. I feel bad. I ended on a weird note. I got one. I got one more question. Okay. Oh. Like the cast of Empire just performed on whatever award show that was. If this he has show, actual questions if this based show on my to, show. You know, take off. Would you want to perform on like the award shows? I think that's the goal. I think that if they take us, uh, if they like the music, if it's received well, and if they take us seriously as musicians and stuff, I think we're totally we're equipped to play live. Our drummer had to learn. Bobby Kelly, who plays uh, Bam Bam in the show, is a drummer. He learned how to play drums. He's great now. He's still taking lessons. Our bass player plays bass. Guitar player plays guitar, etc. And there's a band that we that we would play with that's Dennis's band so absolutely I think that'd be awesome yeah be does amazing. Dennis actively make music with this band outside of this project yes. yeah he has a band that he travels with you know he has the have you ever heard the asshole song his no. famous song yes. no thank you Heather has someone what? was born before 19 93 2006 <laughs> there you go <laughs> meanwhile I'm like younger than everyone here um so yeah, he has a he has a lot of songs that he plays with his band and they play covers and he's known them forever. He grew up with them and they're really talented musicians. So we would play with them and we would uh we would tour. I would love to do that. That'd That's be awesome. incredible. I know, it's cool. These songs are cool. The songs are great. I mean It's a dream, Zach. I'm living a dream. Thank you, Liz Gillies. Oh, thank you, Zach Sang. And hey Zach. What? Best of luck with everything. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys gonna actually keep working here? <laughs> Did he bring you in so I pretend that he's Are, the guy behind the camera? Like, no, no, no. no. <laughs> Are they hiring here? Or? <laughs> Do you guys not get paid? Oh, <laughs> classic <laughs> saying. Classic saying. No, they get paid. These aren't even recording. <laughs> you guys, I came up with this girl. She needs to think that I actually have a job. <laughs> Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. July 11th, FX. July 16th. How many, garbage. how many facts did you have to learn? <laughs> you piece of garbage. I'm done. I'll wrap it up. You uh, do it. Sex, Drugs, and Rock and Roll, July 16th on FX at 10 p.m. Watch it or... Check your local listings. Check your... Uh, That's what people do. Zach. I say it in commercials. I'm going to start a Kickstarter for Zach not to get kicked off whatever radio station <laughs> he's on. Donate now. You just ruined, you just ruined my career. Ugh. 
What career? <laughs> Come give Christ. me a hug. Come give me a hug.